Ken Surfs here, and another Shea video. Well, welcome back. Whew. I think the last time uh, I did the video was in Lake Tahoe, and uh, got back one week ago. Got back late, late Friday afternoon. Had one day to relax, and then Sunday, uh, we had to bring my daughter down to San Diego uh, to go back to college. So uh, that Sunday's driving to San Diego and back, Get a lot of tourists heading down to go to SeaWorld and uh, the Wild Animal Park and Mexico, you know, and uh, a lot of traffic. So last weekend uh, just whew, flew by and then back to work last Monday. And uh, man, uh, I left for a week and had a week, <laughs> week's worth of emails and work uh, to do. So I haven't had much of a chance to do anything this week, but it's Friday now. It's my Friday off. I went down to San Diego this morning, picked up my daughter, and brought her back. 90 minutes down, 90 minutes back, but no traffic. But there'll probably be a lot of traffic this weekend. So here we are back in the man cave, and uh, I had some products waiting for me when I got back. And uh, man, you guys were right, by the way. There's a lot of products in Canada. I know there's a lot in the United States, there's a lot in Europe, and uh, I've been trying some products from Canada. But I've got uh, this company, have you guys heard of it? Elvado. It was, uh, it's, uh, I think it's Ontario, it's out of Ontario, and they have some really good shaving products also. And what I'm gonna be trying today, I'm gonna try two items today for the first time. And it's Elvado Shaving Cream, Royal Tahitian Lime. Very citrusy smelling, very. Uh, the shave cream has got avocado and shea butter, and it's also got, uh, what is it, uh, lemons, is it uh, rosewood, uh, blah, 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 blah. limes of course and I'm telling you it it's a soft soap and whew, you can smell the limes look at this nice and soft so I'm gonna whip this up right in this container and uh, of course the match to it or the mate to it it's alcohol free and it is uh, the aftershave tonic and again it's royal Tahitian lime and oh man, just, I, I've got a lime tree in my backyard. Uh, used to, uh, in my drinking days, uh, we used to drink a lot of Corona beers, a lot of Mexican beers, and they have those smaller limes that you can cut up and pop into the top of the bottles. And so I grew this tree and uh, this huge tree. So I got limes all over the backyard and I've got oranges. So I got a lot of citrus. And uh, if I don't eat those limes or pull those limes, I end up mowing over them with a lawnmower and the spray goes all over and it's great citrus smell. Future Shave coming up from uh, uh, the future videos. Uh, there's some more items that I've got from uh, actually Elevato. And uh, brushless shaving cream, or you can use a brush. And what's nice, it's not an aerosol, it's uh, you just pump it, and you can put it right on the brush, face lather. So uh, I've got some of those items to try out. But today we will be trying out those two. I got 3,000 subscribers, gents. Thank you. In fact, I'm over 3,000. I uh, really, really appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway uh, probably the next video. I may be able to make it this weekend. We'll do a, give you, a giveaway, appreciation giveaway. I really am thankful for that. And I've got a couple of cool... I think they're cool. Hopefully you think they're cool. i got a couple of cool items here to give away. And uh, it's the Crystal Skulls to uh, soak your brush in. And this one, I have a cool bristle or bore brush uh, one of my collections and I uh, haven't used this one yet and I don't know if it's even been used it uh, still smells very fresh but I really like the color of this I haven't heard of the brand but uh, I'm gonna be giving away the crystal skull I'm gonna be giving away that and I'm gonna give away some blades uh, when I do the video you'll see the blades and uh, the other skull a brand new synthetic brush from Pearl well there's the skull let me show you brand new synthetic brush from Pearl Shaving and uh, look at that fat handle and that is one fat knot so I'm gonna be giving away oh man that is very nice that's a, that is a fat knot where's a uh, here's a Simpson chubby <laughs> so this synthetic brush still in the still in the protective sleeve we're gonna give away with that crystal skull and uh, I'll probably shoot that video next week. 
And some of the other videos that'll be coming up, I know some of you have asked, uh, hey, what happened? Why didn't you do the aftershave review of Mandem? Uh, this is from Japan. And Charles Bronson actually does a video for this. Uh, it must have been out in the 80s. Uh, and they still make it now, but uh, he did a cool video. If you go to YouTube, type in Mandem and Charles Bronson, and you'll see a cool advertising for this. So that's going to be coming up. And I bought from Europe some Gillette shave cream. Lime, of course. So I'm going to be doing uh, trying this out for the first time. So we do have a couple of items coming up in the future. But right now, let's... Uh, in fact, I probably can move this out of the way. I don't have to cut the frame. Well, yeah, give me one second. I gotta move some of this items out of the way so I don't knock it over. Got all that out of the way. I'm gonna be using uh, my Mercure 37C today. And that is the, uh, it's about the same size as the, uh, let me set that light so it, uh, let's see here. Lock that auto exposure. It's uh, a slanted razor. It's the 37C. You've seen me use this before. Same size as the 34C. Everything's identical except, uh, it's got the uh, slant on it, and I'm going to be using uh, a Zaza blade today, so uh, that should be nice. Oh, it's nice to just be calm and relax. It's hot here, very, very hot here. Uh, we're having a heat wave. We don't usually get them in California, in Southern California, near the, near the water. But uh, you guys who live in the Midwest and the South and the, the desert areas and parts of Europe where it just, you know, gets into the hundreds, uh, you know, my hat's off to you. Don't know how you handle it. Man, oh man, oh man. And uh, my sympathies and, and, and good thoughts and prayers go out to uh, the people of Texas who were uh, devastated by that hurricane that came through last week. And uh, I understand a new one is forming, a new hurricane's forming off the Gulf. So, uh, but this, oh man, it's the season. So, uh, what global warming, right? But uh, my, my thoughts and prayers go out to those victims who were in Texas, and that was some water, some downpour, some flooding, especially Houston. Oh, man, flooding, flooding, flooding. All right, so in my crystal skull today, I have the uh, Omega Boar in there, and I saw Mr. Paul Humphreys using... Uh, that brush again, not to uh, maybe in the last Shea video or the one before, and uh, I saw him use that that uh, Omega, his Omega, uh, about a year ago, and I thought, man, that's a cool Omega. I've got to get one. So I've been using that. And you've seen me use that. All right, let me start whipping this up real quick. I'm gonna whip it up right there. I'm gonna get some of this water off of here. Oh man, you can smell the lime. Lots of cool products in Canada. Lots of cool products coming out of there. And uh, it's really good, uh, really appreciate the chance to, oh man, this thing is soaking up good. It is soaking, I'm gonna wet this thing real good there. It is soaking this water up. Whoa, very nice. She's spilling out. Lots of good products coming out of Canada. And uh, I would not have known about it, you know, I had you gents not tipped me off. And, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, really cool to try all of these. Let me wet my face a bit here. Wow, that soap is slick. Slick, slick, slick. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Just how I like it. Whoa. Whoa, it's coming out of the brush. See that? All organic, all natural. I'll put their website right here. Got a lot of products on that website. Check it out. And I'll put it in the description too. So thank you, John. Elvado Grooming Products. Oh, man. Gonna be busy with some of these products for the next several videos. Whew. All right, here we go. Yeah, she's slick. She's slick. That is nice. And these slants are a little more aggressive, let's say, to me, than the straight, uh, the, you know, when, I guess the straight Ds. 
so they do cut a little sharper. So if you don't have a good soap, you know, be careful. Yeah, knocked it right down. Very nice. Oh, it's good to be back here. I'm telling you guys. Great vacation though. Great, great vacation. But the only thing I've never tried in Lake Tahoe yet is uh, snowmobiling. You can rent snowmobiles in the winter and go out and my family says, ah, I don't want to do that, but it, it sounds intriguing to me. It really does. We'll pass one, knock that right down. Very good. Very satisfied. All right. Pass too. Man, that's thick. See it coming out of there? Look at that. This brush is sucking it up. Oh, man. It smells good. Where's the Corona beer when you need one? To go with those limes. Slick soap. Good luck holding it. <laughs> Why do three? But I'll do a three. It's funny the stuff that goes undisturbed in the woods up in that Lake Tahoe or probably in any any woods. Uh, it was probably 1980, I think it was, when uh, I was there with my father and uh, the family. And uh, my father had brought a little 22 rifle to do some plinking with, shoot some targets. And we went out, uh, went to the ranger station, asked where we were going to go shooting. He says, yeah, I just go off one of the dirt roads and, you know, you go in the middle of nowhere into the trees. And there's an engine block, a 350 Chevy short block, an engine block sitting there. In 1980, somebody, somebody for some reason brought an engine block, dumped it in the forest. And uh, <laughs> what are we, uh, 37 years later or whatever it is? Check this out. Undisturbed engine block. Go figure. I think it's a four bolt main too, so uh, it's an expensive engine block, but been out in that forest 
for quite a while. Man, I'm nervous with the slant under that lip. But I haven't got any weepers yet. Been playing that Elvira pinball machine now for three, four weeks. I cannot get on the charts, man. That is one hard, fun machine, but I cannot get my name on that chart. And the guy who I bought it off is named Ken. So uh, instead of putting his first initial, middle initial, last name, he just goes by Ken. So everybody goes, hey, you got all these scores on there, Ken, but <laughs> not me. Not me. I wish. But it's hot in that garage right now. Don't have air conditioning in that garage, so it is hot in this heat wave. All right. Oh, man. Perfect. I'm going to put a little witch hazel on there, too. becoming a good habit for me to put that on. I'm going to tap that dry a little. Somebody was asking me, why do you use pre-shave if the soap is slick? And I didn't use pre-shave this time, but, uh, uh, you know, a pre-shave is just an extra precaution. Uh, it adds a little level of slickness, a little more, you know, prohibiting you from maybe getting some nicks. Some people use it, some people don't. I use it sometimes, sometimes I don't. Uh, this time I didn't because I wanted to see how the soap did. And actually you saw it, the soap preferred, or performed very well. Very thick, very slick, very well. So now let's try the aftershave. It's soap so slick, I can't, uh, I can't grab the bottle here. Alcohol-free, gents, so no burn, but it's got a lot of soothing, soothing properties to it. And you know what, though? I do feel a bit of a sting, but nothing like a, an alcohol burn. But, whew, boy, smell good. Smell like lime. Wow. Very good. All right. There's another one in the bag, gents. So, uh... Hope you guys have a good weekend. Check out this website if you get a chance. Uh, it worked for me. And, you know, like I said, I haven't tried this before. It's the first time using it. So if I would have cut myself or it would have performed badly, uh, you would have seen it firsthand. And it did good. So another great type of soap out there on my list. All right. So you guys have a good, uh, good Friday night and a great weekend. Good Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. And uh, I will try to get that uh, appreciation giveaway set up and out real soon. Until next time, it's Ken Sir saying have a great night.